Hi, my name is Ludas Butkus, and in this episode of What to Hodl, I want to talk about Bit Degree. So, what does Bit Degree want to do? Well, it wants to revolutionize education with blockchain. In other words, what they are planning to create is a website similar to Can Academy, Code Academy, and bring blockchain to it. So, the main concept would be that students come and they take courses and they are incentivized to do them because they get the bid degree tokens that they can then exchange for real money. On the other side, there are companies that are looking for students that would learn a specific programming language or a skill and basically they want to sponsor these students to take the course and then to apply for a job position. So students come in, they are incentivized with tokens and also incentivized by getting a job and they are learning skills that already are needed in the job market and they are likely not wasting their time as with universities. For example, I am an IT student in Lithuania. I'm already learning computer science for three years and there's a lot of modules that I'm learning that I am very likely not going to use in my career ever again. There are a lot of filler content and a lot of modules that lack uh, these practical skills and there's too much theory and basically it's a little bit of a waste of time. And overall universities worldwide are not fast enough to change according to the market well uh, and their courses are not very well suited for the market and are, they are not preparing enough students for the job market and there's a huge gap there's a lot of jobs that could be filled with people but there's just not enough students uh, not enough people not enough specialists so this is a global problem and this is what they want to solve. They want to have students to quickly enter the market by taking courses that are incentivized. You're not just uh, paying for the course, you're getting paid to learn that specific skill and you already know that it is a, there is a huge demand for it. Also, all these achievements, all the courses will be registered in the blockchain and even though if you don't get that specific job that you tried the course for uh, you will get all the achievements and you might apply to other jobs basically it will be like a linkedin page of yours uh, that's more specific to programming now let's talk about the company and the people involved in this so uh, a very interesting person is that Jeff Burton, the co-founder of Electronic Arts, is an advisor in this. But overall, the biggest deal is that the ICO is basically done uh, by the company Zero Zero Web Host and Hostinger. This is their team and they are doing an ICO. So basically they have 29 million users of their hosting, uh, of their hosting services. And usually people who are using hosting services are somewhat involved with programming, web design, and all these skills. And they have noticed that they need, uh, that there was a huge demand for courses of getting into the market, of getting new skills. Uh, and even though the ICO would not be successful, if it was not a success, they would still go for this. Uh, and they will still build, be building this bit degree uh, course, uh, bit degree platform. So uh, that's that. And what problems does bit degree solve? Well, it, it solves the education problem where you are just learning for four years and you're not sure if you will get a job, if you are learning the skills that are needed. Uh, it helps recruiting tech talent so basically companies will be subsidizing courses and getting 
uh, people to learn the, the skills that they need in their uh, in in their work basically and tech students are valued customers uh, so basically a hostinger and zero zero web host want to bring in a new a new users for their web host as well so this business model is very well planned out and it's very interconnected so next growth of MOOCS number of courses basically massive open online courses and there's just a huge growth and it will continue to grow this is basically the market that they are entering and it's definitely posed to grow because there's a lot of people joining the IT and everything is just uh, getting automated and basically most of the people that I know that are working uh, are using computers so this is just uh, a chart to illustrate that so how does it look let's look at their minimum viable product so here we have their bit degree platform which is uh, just at the first stage they have several courses to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, SQL, and there will be much more. This is the basic gist. For example, if we go to HTML introduction, and we can see the code samples, and we can try out what they do. And here we see, once it loads, what does this code piece do? And basically it prints out a heading and we can change it and it immediately reflects it and here again we also have a link to Hostinger because once you create something you might want to have it live and try out and so here the interconnection comes in again so a very neat website uh, not a lot of courses yet but that will come uh, in in the meantime uh, what is very interesting what they will have is the gamification that I already mentioned so once you complete for example this piece and you do some tasks you will get an achievement and you will get an incentivization and you will get bit degree tokens so that's going to motivate people to learn which is a very important thing because if you are not motivated it's very very hard and you're very uh, unlikely to finish the course the biggest uh, websites like Coursera, uh, Khan Academy etc <clears throat> only 5% of for example there's a course and there's a hundred people that take the course only 5% only 5 people finish the course proudly so bit degree wants to gamify everything and basically make it that more people who take the courses finish them and all the incentives of getting a job will help with that as well so what we have else is also basically a very similar graph that we saw before is that the d demand for jobs in the IT sector will grow and we all see that because more and more jobs need a computer we need to optimize things automate etc etc and this is just a given so next we see the bit degree token economy so there will be students who get the bit degree tokens for taking courses that they can then sell for real money then there are sponsors companies uh, that are looking for jobs for not jobs for students uh, to recruit and there will be also third parties involved uh, that could create courses and get paid in the tokens from the companies as well so the ICO the minimum financing is going to be 16 million ether 
even though if they do not reach it, as I already mentioned, they will still be uh, creating this platform and their maximum financing is 75,000 Ethereum. So the goals are very realistic and what they need are the funds is to launch this platform for promotion, marketing and basically lifting it up uh, very quickly. And even though if they are not successful with their goals, they still have a company behind them that will be working on this because they see the need for this project. They see uh, that their 29 million users need something like this and they are ready to put the resources to create this. And the ICO is only a tool to make uh, this much, much faster and they also need to distribute the tokens. So the token distribution, budget allocation and their team. As I already mentioned, Jeff Burton, the co-founder of Electronic Arts and uh, the co-founder of, of the degree is Andrew Sputna and basically the whole team is from hosting there. And there's a lot of people. So the partners, Preply, Token Lot, and that's it. And here we have the roadmap. Uh, it starts with 2007, 2016. Uh, throughout these years, they got 29 million users. And that will make marketing of this bit degree platform much easier because they will have targeted leads to promote their platform. So 2017, quarter three, quarter four, it will be the bid degree ICO. In 2018, quarter one, they will launch best online IT learning courses. They want to launch first 100 courses. Next, they will start promotion of for students to take the courses and then they will start the business platform launch so that businesses can come in and start sponsoring courses for students to take. So this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.